Swag, you already know what time it is, man. It's your boy Keon Laura, aka KL Swag. Back here with a video, man. Look, man, I don't want to do too much talking or whatever like that, you guys. Um, obviously, I'm gonna talk about um Malik Cunningham. Malik Cunningham has got um released. He has got cut. Uh, he did, he did not make the 353 man roster. Um, I did not check uh, and and look for you know confirmation or anything like that. Swag game. Um, shout out to my Discord. I did put the Discord down below in the comments, man. Um, and you know, well, yeah, I didn't. Yeah, I put it in the comments, but I didn't put it in the description. But yeah, man. Um, y'all said that he got um cut, bro. I and I'm gonna say this. I told y'all so on on all the other videos that I've been, you know, I've been doing it like this, you guys. I, I, I all I'm gonna say is that I told y'all so. I know I'm stuttering and shit. Y'all know I. He, Y'all know I be stuttering sometimes, so don't be laughing at me and shit, man. Don't be laughing at stuff, man. Y'all know I be stuttering sometimes. All right. So, yeah. I, <clears throat> all I'm going to say is that I told y'all so. I told y'all that Malik Cunningham is an okay player, but he's not all that good, to be honest. And I see why they let him go and they cut him and stuff like that. Um, Because, bro, it's not really like that, to be honest. You know, I feel like um, all that bullshit be happening when players get cut is because there'll be other players that beat them out. Other defensive players that beat them out that made the roster. Other receivers, you know, that probably made the practice squad or, you know, whatever like that. Um, and Malik Cunningham wasn't in that, you know. Trey Show wasn't in it. Um, Malik Cunningham just has a lot of work to do, man, to be honest. He has a lot of work to, to, to do and stuff like that. Now, he probably would get picked up in the past. You know, well, I mean, in the future. My dumb ass, I said past. In the future, probably. Or he might have to just go to the XFL and go crazy there. Go to the XFL or USFL and do that. Or you never know. He might get picked up by a team, probably, you know, to be a backup. But um, he, he just, he, he, he has a lot of learning, bro. And I feel like that's what really happened. Belichick thought that, okay, let's see what he can do or whatever like that. But he didn't show enough, you know, preseason, preseason, preseason. But he didn't show enough. All he did is run and score that one little touchdown. I know people probably feel bad for him. And I ain't going to lie. I low-key feel bad in a way because I low-key wanted my dog on the, um, on the team. You know, I low-key wanted a black quarterback on the team, man, especially to be on Madden. Now, when they upgrade the game, he's not going to be on Madden. Now, I'm not going to have a black quarterback to put in here and there to show off and, you know, run the ball and score and stuff like that. I got to use Matt Jones, Matt Jones' ass. Matt Jones is not an 88 speed in Madden. So, now I got to use Matt Jones' speed. Matt Jones is like an a, a 80 or a 79, I, th I think. So, yeah, man, I just felt like. He should have made it, but like I said, you guys, you got to keep it real with y'all. He didn't show enough. He didn't show enough. He did not show enough, and that's just the bottom line. He didn't show enough, man, and even even in college, bro, he didn't really show too much of his his accuracy and, and you know, and stuff like that. He had, I think he had 50, 50 TDs, rushing TDs his whole career, and then he had 70 TDs, I think, passing. Come on now. Think about that, y'all. And he had 47 starts. 47 starts. And he played in 56 games. That's crazy how I memorized that. ESPN got to give me a fucking contract or something, bro. That's crazy how... I literally looked that up earlier and it just came up to my head, bro. Like, it just came up to my head and I just... But literally, yeah. And I think he had 9,000 and something passing yards. That's not all that good if y'all really think about it. <laughs> Y'all really think about it. And I forgot his picks, but he had he had a lot of picks though. So, um, yeah, I'm sorry, y'all. I know some of y'all was probably happy about Malik Cunningham. I know a lot of y'all was happy about Trace McSorley when we got him. I don't think he's like that. Um, but yeah, man. I was actually happy to have a black quarterback, but now that you know that's gone. That's out the that's out the picture now. But yeah, man, I would have did a, a, a skit, but I feel like it wasn't worthy to do a skit or whatever. But yeah, man, I love y'all. Stay swagged up, bro. Um, sad that he's gone. I kind of wish that we would have had a black quarterback um, for this year. 
But, hey, it is what it is, man. Hopefully he find another team or whatever like that. But, yeah, man, like I said, he's not that good. Um, He has a lot to work on, man. And I can tell he's, he, you know, I can tell because Belichick would have kept him. You know, Belichick would have kept them, and then on top of that, he barely played in the preseason that much either. So, yeah, man. Love y'all. Stay swagged up. Yee!